All eyes are on Atlantic Canada as they brace for impacts from Hurricane Lee as it churns up the eastern seaboard. Now it will make its approach as a Category 1 storm, but it will diminish in strength down to a tropical storm before making landfall on Saturday morning. So here's the timing played out. The heaviest rainfalls will hit southwestern coast of Nova Scotia, Yarmouth, Digby, Shelburne on Saturday morning with wind gusts getting up to 110 kilometers per hour. Uh, Saturday evening slowly shifting the risk into widespread maritimes as then by Sunday it will diminish considerably as it makes its way into Newfoundland. So in terms of timing, here is Saturday morning. The largest impact will be in that mid-afternoon range and then widespread rain showers as those um, bands start to impact all the way across into Newfoundland. So the amounts we could be seeing upwards to 100 millimeters in through the Yarmouth area um, where the uh, highest risk for localized flooding will be as well as power outages. And then we'll see um, also central New Brunswick, uh, most of Nova Scotia getting up to that 50 to 75 millimeters and then widespread nowhere we'll really see less than 50 millimeters of rain. The winds will be one of the largest impacts as it will increase the surf, the uh, uh, the surge into coastal regions. Yarmouth getting over 100 kilometers per hour. So Bay of Fundy could be getting intense storm surges over one meters, but the wave heights could still be up to four to seven meters high. So stay up to date on alerts and stay with us.